All right. So whenever you guys are ready, you can uh, begin presenting. Yeah. All the best and good luck. <clears throat> Okay, um, I will begin the presentation. I will explain I will introduce the what is the Azure model in this presentation. Okay, for uh, the Azure what is Azure? Azure is a model that is the Azure model is an instructional model design that is a process used by the teachers and designers to plan their projects and lesson to improve the effectiveness of their teaching and learning processes. Azure is actually an acronym that represents the different steps in the model. For the first letter, A stands for analyze learner this is where you get all the informations you can about the audience and learners and this could be the general characteristics like skill no no like age or their level in studying and then the skills and earning style for this step you must select the best strategies for to meet the objective you have you have set okay for the second one s s stands for stating objectives this this step uh, the objective must be specific so that the learners could understand and know what is expected from them this objective must be specific measurable realistic and achievable because at the end of the process at the end of the steps an evaluation uh, will be taken and the data will be collected for the second s in azure it stands for select the strategies technology media and materials after figuring out the objective the teachers and designer must select which tools will be best for their teaching and designing. The strategies could be instructor-centered or student-centered. After that, they will choose the media and materials for the lessons. The materials could be something that are already available or materials that are modified, that have that have been modified or you can design uh, new ones the media you may select different types of media to use with the unit um, for the fourth it is you you stands for utilize technology media and material for this one after preparing the materials they should before conducting the the lessons they should preview the material and prepare the lessons after that they should prepare the learning environment uh, to make sure that all the facilities and and materials that are going to use uh, will be uh, sufficient and necessary before starting the lessons uh, are R stands for require learner performance. The learners should, should, should practice what they have learned and they should be actively involved in the materials that are given to them. Um, and the last but not least, the E, evaluate and revise. This step is where you ask yourself if the the lessons, the objective are met, and what didn't go well or what did go well, and then uh, did, did the learner met the objective, 
and did the learner learn something new from the uh, lessons that are given to them and if they're able to achieve the knowledge that is as that is expected from them um if there are disagreements during uh no no if there are disagreements before during and after the lessons the teachers and designer should make uh re revisions and improvisation before making the lessons again mm, okay that's all from me from part one okay i will pass the next one to my friend Uh, okay, so for uh, how the Azure model functions in designing the web, first it's a constructive way to enhance the teaching and learning environment because uh, as in the A in Azure, we the designers will analyze the users and by analyzing the users, we can make sure that the content that is developed is suitable with the characters, with the, with the characters of the targeted users and then this is because we want to make sure that the website is as interesting as possible to them. Plus, since the Azure model requires the learner's participation, or in this case, the user's participation, the designers maybe can uh, incorporate methods that could um, ensure the user's active participation in the website by giving them uh, feedbacks or after the users go through the website or by providing the users a platform or like a comment box for them to give comments or feedbacks to us. Next, um, the Azure model functions uh, in web designing by improving the already available materials by integrating the various methods through technology and media. Okay, for example, if there's a, for example, if there's a mathematics website that was developed like uh, two years ago, but now, the client wants the website wants wants to improve the website like they want to make the website more interactive and to suit this to suit this objective uh, the designers can choose to integrate the already existing materials such as uh, or they, they can use the materials as it is or they can choose to modify the materials um, for example in the media in media, the designers can uh, include lecture videos or interactive lectures. For, and for the technology, the designers can choose to include uh, e-learning software or video call tools for group discussions for the users. Um, lastly, the information gathered by feedback of the web users can be used as a part of the website's development process. Okay, um, the the information get the feedback by the users. Uh, first, we need to evaluate the technology. The, the designers need to evaluate the technology, the media, the materials that were used in the website. And, and then from the user's feedbacks, uh, they can determine whether the lesson or the content of the website is effective or not. And if there's anything that uh, could be improved, if, if there's any issues. And, they, and the designers also need to see that the objective um, of the development of the website is met and whether the choice of the media that they included was good or not, or would, or would it be better if they use another option, other options of medias or materials. Okay. Um, okay. For as for the example, um, I chose these uh, four steps, uh, which you can see in the slide. So to explain for the first, um, the objective from the alphabet um, S from the Asia, which stands for stating uh, objective. So in the slide. Um, I put that the people will be able to read and understand simple sentences. 
and also um, they should be able to answer comprehension question from the stimulus provided. This is to help the teacher to focus on what the learners should uh, be able to do by the end of the lesson. And then um, the next one is to select media materials and methods uh, which uh, comes from the alphabet S in Asia where it is important to pick the best uh, strategies, technologies, medias um, or materials. For example here, um, the teacher can use um, video or pictures um, and also they can use a PowerPoint presentation. This is to help that the objective they stated before. Uh, and then next is uh, to utilize media materials and methods, which uh, comes from the alphabet U from Asia. Uh, for example, here, the papers uh, can answer quiz shown in the PowerPoint presentation. And teachers can use a uh, video or pictures to introduce the lesson. So the, this could be done uh, in the beginning of the lesson. And the last step is the evaluation. Um, the evaluation comes from the alphabet um, E in Asia, uh, where teacher evaluates the impact that uh, her or his lessons have on the students. So firstly, they can do uh, a quick summary uh, on what uh, they have done on that day. And also, um, they can do a quick Q&A session with the students for the teacher to test students' understanding whether they can um, achieve the objective or not. Okay, that, that will be all for the set one. Okay, um, and then I would move to set two, which is the white space clean design. I would explain the, I would explain what is uh, white space. Okay, so uh, what, what is white space? White space is also known as negative space. It is the space uh, between graphics, columns, images, text, margins, and other elements. Um, the, the spaces that left untouched um, without text uh, or graphical elements, uh, it helps to deliver a clean uh, and a direct message to the visitors. Um, and also, it is a way to organize text, uh, elements, uh, and it is to guide um, to guide the user's attention to certain elements. Um, the term white space um, is used, but um, it does not necessarily to, uh, it does not necessarily mean that the space has to be white. Um, it can be any color. Um, any pattern, any background image, as long as um, it's not, there is not too much um, text. Um, and then uh, this is um, in order to uh, the text uh, images and graphics in websites to have their own uh, visual focus. So the visitors, when they visit the website, uh, they can have one focus at a time. Yeah, that would be all for the first one. I will pass to my friend. Okay, for the second one, how white space functions in designing web. Okay, first white space, white space helps improve readability and comprehension. For example, if the text and images are declutter and like very in a messy way, we we could not focus what is written on the screen and it will be difficult for us to understand what is the message about. So white space helps improve readability and comprehension. The second the second one is white space. White space helps highlight the message or statement of the brand after grouping the after putting them in a group it will help readers 
to to understand the message that is written on the with the website and it is easy for the readers to to focus on the highlight materials and then the statement of the brand could be achieved because they have been grouped and there is a hierarchy in the white space okay and the third reason is white space gives a minimal and luxury feeling to a brand and makes it look aesthetically pleasing or visually appealing uh, this is proven like nowadays people people like to see a very minimal look but it looks very elegant and luxury and and that uh, without without using too many colors uh, that could attract uh, everyone attention because the general rule of thumb less is more yeah, that's all from me and the third one will be explained from my friend thank you uh, okay so for the uh, examples of white space there are uh, four types first is the macro white space macro white space is the most familiar or the most common uh, way to recognize white space it's the large space between key elements like the graphics or images or um, text. For example, here, the Google uh, homepage, the white space is the, um, the, at the left and right side of, of the page. And it's also between uh, the, the search bar and the Google logo. And the macro white space is used intentionally to create a focus on a certain area and like for uh, for example no i mean it's the design is simple because uh, it makes it easier for the user to navigate through the website and it won't look messy or crowded and which in turn would distract the users from the actual purpose of them going to the website okay so with this with this example the google homepage um it's a simple design because uh people can go can serve the can serve google and then just search for what they are looking for instead of getting distracted by other elements next is the micro white space the micro white space is a small space between text or between paragraphs or the letter spacings uh, and it has a direct effect on the user's uh, readability. It makes it easier for readers, readers to or users to read the text on the website. And it, and in this and for this example is the Dropbox um, website homepage. It's also the example for where the white space is not white, like the color white, but there is white space uh, in the website. And um, Next is the active white space. Active white space is used to direct users' attention to the important element, the, the focus of uh, the focus of the website. It's used to emphasize the content, like the gra the graphic, as you can see from uh, the Apple website. The the em the emphasis here is the MacBook Air. So the simple design and is is used and people are people can clearly see the the user will clearly see the focus of uh, the website and we can also say that active space is macro white space next is the pass uh, the passive white space passive white space is the area between text on a line or the Space surrounding the logo or graphic element and it also functions to improve the user's readability and as you can see from the there's all from the menu or the navigation bar uh, there is white space between the text between the uh, between each um, menu 
and it and it makes it easier for users to navigate through the website without without any problems and it's convenient for the users to get more information on what they are interested in. That's all for the examples. Okay. All right, is that all for the presentation? Yes. 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 All right, okay, just a sec, yeah. Let me just stop recording.